It, it's a simple question. Guys, it's on the mind of every Yankees fan. What the heck is going on with DJ LeMay, Hugh Jack? Well, when I last spoke to him, he was stopping for a cup of coffee. Then he was going <laughs> to grab a donut. No. What's going on with DJ LeMay, Bob? We said this during our first hot stove show. It is going to be slow this offseason. Things are going to move at a snail's pace. One baseball executive said to me, it's going to be a cold stove. And we've seen that so far. But here's the, the ray of sunshine. Here's the positive news. The Yankees and DJ LeMayhew have had conversations. They have been positive conversations. Here's the thing, guys. The Yankees put a number out there. They evaluate what they think a player is worth. They did that last year with Garrett Cole. They ended up having to go a little higher than they wanted to go for Garrett Cole. I think they've told DJ LeMay how much they prioritize him, how much they want him back. I think his agent is listening to that. I think they're trying to engage with other teams. I still think DJ LeMay who ends up signing with the Yankees. Jack, you mentioned all those non-tendered players who are out there who are just looking for a job, and they'll take anything. They want to make sure they're employed next year. Obviously, DJ LeMay is not in that category, and he's sitting there in a perfect position where I'm sure the Yankees said, go see what's out there and make sure you come back to us at the end because we want the, the opportunity to match or exceed like Jack was talking about. They did it with Cole. If they want LeMay that bad, they're going to do it with him, and he's in prime position to see what's out there on the market come back to the Yankees and hopefully you get a deal done so Jack mentioned Cole got done at the winter meetings last year a couple other big deals got done as well they're virtual this year and it's going to happen next week could something still happen do you imagine even if the, it's virtual winter meetings that there would be some wheeling and dealing going on I think now that we've passed the non-tender day Bob I do think that we could see more activity I do think that teams might move forward and try and make deals one interesting thing to me about D.J. LeMayhew is we've mentioned a couple of times in this show, and Buck Showalter said it, John said it, I said it, don't evaluate certain players on what happened in a 60-game season, um, except if it's D.J. <laughs> LeMayhew. He had 364, and everybody won a batting tie. Yep, that's about what yeah. you expect from D.J. LeMayhew. He had, his career high had been 348, but the Yankees have, I believe, the inside track to bring him back. His agent has talked about five years, $100 million. I'm not sure the Yankees want to swim as deep into those waters, but I do believe that they have prioritized them and they want to make a deal. All right. Hope